everyone, my name is Butter Tongsley, and welcome back to another episode of Mario and Rabbit's Sparks of Hope. Where we last left off, we have gained a new power for our friend uh, Beepo, where he can literally shoot sound waves now. Interesting. I know. <laughs> it's not that. It's not that enormous of a thing, but it's it's still pretty cool in my opinion. And, uh, we also made it to this cave after going through our new world that we have unlocked, which is called, uh, Pristine Peaks. I almost forgot the name. That's how bad my memory is. But, hey, at least I'm, at least I'm getting it. So, we are still on our way to uh, heading to the peak and top of the summit of this mountain but we need to traverse through many new types of enemies as well as of course new puzzles and such and we're about to see what these boots do like I promised in the last video so let's see what these boots uh, can do also let me move my microphone closer there we go just in case so people can fully hear me Move boost obtained. Uh, oh, 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 okay. Start brand new move phase from wherever you're at on the battlefield. Oh, okay, so it's it's literally free movement. So I could literally just move an extra turn. Oh, I can literally move if I want, even after like attacking, I'm guessing. Oh, so I'm gonna guess there's something hidden here. Yes, there is. <clears throat> there is coins. Really hoping I help these poor rabbits out, because all of them are freezing a death of cold, and we don't want them to die a death of cold. They're just poor rabbits. And we're going to make sure that we do that, because we're getting closer and closer to the top of the mountain. It's actually not that far from now. But there's probably insides of the mountain that we have to traverse as well, which is probably what makes it much more expansive. But we'll find out. Let's see. I was going for a hike when that scary looking tentacle appeared and the weather suddenly became dangerous. Yeah, you don't look like you're very dressed warm either. You look like you're just wearing one of those like flexible thermal uh, outfits. I mean, thermal wear actually is pretty uh, pretty helpful for staying warm. I actually have uh, some thermal clothing for when I was working the gr uh, the grocery department in Dave's Market. They didn't like make me a hundred percent warm like I was in the summertime, but it definitely helped. It was a lot better than just wearing jeans, because jeans for me does not keep me warm. Defeat all. And we have a new scoped enemy, which I'm gonna guess it's a frost scoped enemy. Are you another splash? Ethering. Boy, I'm glad to see you. If you win this battle, I can leave with you. And try not to move in front of those lone wolves when they're using their evil sight power. If you do and you're in range, they'll shoot you immediately. Ah, another place that Luigi's actually going to be quite helpful in. Okie dokie. So now we have to be careful of those guys shooting at us. And we're actually okay that I shouldn't have to worry about wasting any uh, coin on healing. Let's go! So let us, as Mario said, a go. See, we're gonna get Luigi in position here and we're actually also gonna make sure everyone's close enough to Mario just for a moment so I can give them all a damage buffer okay see I'm not expecting them to move yet so we are going to go for this guy and give him the old one two Okay, well, that was 
I wouldn't say wasted, but that was rather annoying that I didn't at least hit him once. Why is he gonna take the least? Oh, it's because some of the projectiles is getting blocked off by the block. Uh, let's see. I say... Yeah, we're going to shoot at these guys. Good crits. And then Luigi. He's not going to be able to hit him yet. So we're going to aim... Hey, I was about to say, why can't I aim at this guy anymore? Oh, yeah. I'm going to save my fire shot for the lone wolf up there. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to prep him for sniping whoever moves. <laughs> Luigi, ready to snipe. Okie dokie. Yes. Aha! Sniping time! Aha! Okay, so those guys are a singular shot. Oh, uh, okay, so now he has his ability activated. Oh no. Ooh, okay. I touch you. Wait. Uh, not good. Mario might die. Gee, these guys hurt a lot. Don't seriously? How many people are good? Well, can't believe we already lost Mario that quick. Holy crap! I seriously feel like there should be a way that, like, we can get people back up. I don't know though, like, because the heal doesn't do it. So it's like, what am I supposed to do? Hit him! That's a hit. Yeah! Okay. Now I'm gonna activate this in case that one moves so I can at least hit him. He's the only one left. So this should be simple. Oh, he's actually not going to move. Okay. Ah, crap. It's okay, Luigi. You'll get a chance. Oh, yeah. Also, activate this. I should start using uh, Rabbit Peach's heal more. Like, Ra Rabbit Peach has so far been one of the most useful characters in this game. I mean, I still like using the others, but... I should literally have Rabbit Peach in every uh, formation in the future because, like, their heal is just very helpful. It's a free heal that I don't have to worry about wasting an item. Uh, that's a hit. And we win! Hashtag winning! Hashtag winning! Hashtag Rabbit Peach. Hashtag. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, in the future, I'm gonna make sure, like, if we deal with those guys again, and, uh... Because Luigi can already do a large sum of uh, damage just with his weapon alone, I think I should not worry about giving uh, Luigi sparks that applies enemies' weaknesses, and instead focus on the uh, sparks to give Luigi that can, like, help him deal with, like, whatever situation he needs in combat. Oh. Okay, I thought that was gonna make them both dead. Oh, yeah, that's right, he's, uh... Yeah. Okay, I fucked up. That's okay, that's little damage, though. Except that! You know what? 
Mario can do this to you. Oh yeah. Okay. I forgot I forgot that they're frigid so it wouldn't freeze them in place or hurt them. But that's fine. That's completely fine. I would have figured it'd at least damage them, but not freeze them in place. But I guess they don't get damaged by their own explosion also. So we learned. We learned something. We got another cave to go into, which looks like an angry rabbit face with its mouth open. Okay, a skull on the wall. Ooh, okay. Found that. Um, I feel like we need to do this. Haha. -ha. Yep. Knew it. I knew it. Oh, whoops. Wrong button. Let me do that. That's gonna lower that. We're gonna be able to go over here. Kick down this ladder. Climb down it. Okay, I have to be down below. So now I move that over. And then I go up here. And then up here again. And that looks like a crack in the wall. Aha! Found the crack in the wall. Okay, that exits. Uh, sure, let's quickly see where this goes. Oh, okay. Another puddle. Brothers in arms. An analysis of this dark mess puddle reveals that it will take the skills of a long range specialist to overcome. Like Luigi! First to volunteer, Luigi representing. That's my boy. There, you see, Mario the original always has his brother's back. Mario the original? Why does everyone diss Luigi so badly? We get it. Mario was like the first, like character and all that in all the past games, but Luigi is an awesome person. He's a badass. Plus, he has really fun games. Luigi's Mansion? If you've not heard of them, I recommend playing them. They're really fun. Yeah. Get to do ghost hunting. Better than Ghostbusters, in my opinion. I mean, Ghostbusters is still an amazing movie. And I, I heard it has a video game, so I, I'm guessing it's good, but still. It, like, it's better than Ghostbusters, game-wise. Alright, so... By the looks of it, we need to use Luigi's Long Range to assist Mario to reaching the area. Because we don't have a healer with us. So, we're gonna have to take the, the payment here, sadly. And... Because of that... Um, because of that guy at the far end with fire, I'm going to give this uh, one to Mario. Gonna upgrade him quick. There we go. That way at least Mario doesn't get lit on fire and run around and slow down. And we're gonna keep the ethereal one on Luigi because I want to see how it works. Hmm. At least when I can. I just noticed that because we're in an ice area, whenever Luigi stops, he actually uh, he slides. Does Mario do it? Oh yeah, he does. Huh. Okay. <laughs> well, I know what I'm gonna do to you. Light you on fire! Okay, got rid of him. 
And now... Luigi! Sniping time! Okay, I can't hit him yet, but I feel like sooner or later he's gonna make a move. So we're just gonna have Luigi stay positioned here. And you know what? We're gonna activate... Oh, actually, this is a good time to try out uh, the ethereal, so let's give it a try, yeah. Turn invisible for two turns. Oh, yeah, because I upgraded it. So, yeah. Haha. -ha. Now Luigi has the power of Luigi's Mansion on the side. Okay, that should... Okay, yeah, so that does reach where that guy is. So if he moves, we'll at least get a shot on him. We're getting close to the area. But those scopers are going to give us a oh, problem, especially when they hit us. Oh, come on, don't hit. Ah, oh, come on. No, don't. Ah. Stupid computer going on standby. Okay, Luigi, you're going to need mushroom to heal. Alright, um, yeah, so we're gonna have Luigi stay down here. And Mario, you're going up there. Alright! Didn't I mean to separate my shots at two of them, but you know what, that's fine. I thought I was not gonna make it. And we win! <laughs> and that's a level up for everyone. Okay, so definitely I like the uh, use of using the invisibility on Luigi. Because not only does it fit him because of all of his games with the ghost turning invisible and stuff, but having a sniper that can turn invisible is actually really useful, because now I don't have to worry too much about him getting attacked so much. So it gives us a chance to literally, like, take advantage of it. Hey, we also got a new weapon skin. And we got a memory for Luigi! Don't know why we need to collect memories of the characters that we already have with us, but okay. So, last thing I want to do before we end off this video is I want to fully get to this other area. Which involves going through this pipe. And grabbing these coins and seeing what's on the other side of this cave. And then we'll end off the video... Because I'm actually all out of time for this video. So I, I just figured I'd extend it a little bit just to see how far we can go before things get messy. And it looks like we can go decently far. I think we're actually about to reach the top of the summit. With this flag, I claim this summit in the name of rabbits and Mario and Luigi's everywhere. And we are here! Okay, so I did at least reach it before this uh, video had to end off. So, in the next video, we are going to perform Ice Breath of Winter, and we're going to get rid of this giant mass of tentacles, and hopefully free this place from the icy grip that is befalling this poor place. So with that being said, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, and ding the bell so that you guys can stay notified of the content that uploads onto my channel and to help support it. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Take care of all your peace. Have a wonderful, safe, and healthy day. Bye, everyone. Yep. It's delicious.